presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Homosassa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Uh, isn't it wonderful? This gentleman here with the gold report, right before the market fell apart, ended up with PAAS. We had a 98% gain in a year. And, uh, I mean, you we weren't 99% proof like Irish whiskey, but we had a good gain there. You always told us to do what we feel comfortable with. And if I leave a little bit of money on the table, I will, but I know that I just pocketed eight or $9,000 in two weeks. That's a beautiful thing, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Uh, we have the Dow Industrials right now trading up. Uh, well, oh, let's read out the card. I know. Without my growl, I got, I got a little discombobulated here. We'll get that growl next week. I'm getting there, though. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is a whole mastery, and the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To master relationship is therefore about taking action, not about attaining knowledge. Market wise out here, let's take a look at it, folks. We have the Dow Industrials down 149, NASDAQ up 33, SPs up 7.5. Gold, gold contract down $13.80, trading at 1864 an ounce. We have silver down 34 cents, $22.39 an ounce. Light sweet crude down 99 cents, $90.73 a barrel. Notes and bonds. A 10 year note up 5 ticks, trading 108 flat. 30 year up 6 ticks at 113.22 and King Dollar. King Dollar right now. Where are you, King Dolly? You've been all over the place, man. How does this happen when I get... There it is. King Dolly down 79 ticks at 106, 144. The euro at 105. The yen's trading at 149. The British pound is at 122 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I know what's going on in your world. Now, in the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well... When we take a look at this S&P, what you're going to see is that we came right down to the breakout area yesterday. You did reject lower price at the 422 area. Yeah, now you had big volume there. You had 104 million, and you were going into like 88. A couple days before that, you had 118. That being said, bottom line was that we bounced off it. Okay. Now, we rejected 425 this morning, and you can have some decent volume. So it's telling me that we get a bounce on, that's for sure. Now, we'll see where that bounce goes. We get a big gap that's laying out here at the uh, 430 area, 438 area, actually. 438? Yeah, the 438 area. We go take a Let's go take a look at the E-minis intraday because where this dollar goes for the next hour is where this S&P is going to go. So if we take a look at the minis, what we have, that was a good bar. This last 10-minute bar is a good bar, man. So if I take this and go from highs to lows today, we just did a 0.382. It just spiked it. See, there wasn't hardly any volume on the way down here today, you know. This is what's interesting. So the probability is that you're still going to try to get higher. So let's go to the note and bond market first, because the note and bond market is correlated with the dollar. So if we take a look at the 10-year, you're going to see the 10-year, 1.8 million contracts, not holding price that well though we did we are we got to 108.14 and now you're at 107.31 you know so that doesn't look to me that, that can press in so the high of yesterday the high of the low is 108.08 no yeah 108.08 you know so if you're digging into this again that's saying that that bottom can get tested then let's go over to the dollar because the dollar is the number, man. It's, it's just pretty amazing how 
the currency is running everything. Well, the, it, it makes sense because it, it, the interest rate structure is what's actually running it. That's keeping the dollar strong. So we take a look at this dollar, what you're going to see. This is, this is what you want to look at, folks. Now, I'm giving you this on, on a weekly basis, but this is going to be the number. If you, if we take a look at it, what you're going to see is this. You have two different areas. I'll mark both of them. The first, the first area, though, is the area that we actually went into this week, which is the low of the downdraft. And that downdraft was pretty dramatic. We went from 113 to 106 in one week. Okay, so just like an just like an equity, this is a currency, but just like an equity, when you do that, you have that type of price spread. I mean, there's, there's a monster seller there. So the bottom of this is 106 281. We're at 106 162. So 206. What am I talking about? 106. 281. Yeah. 106. 281. If you close below that 106. 281, that would be a failure in price. And that would be saying that, okay, that's what, that's what it's trying to do the whole time. It failed. And we'll see whether they get any follow through next week on the way down. You know, if you don't fail there, if we close above that, then that swing point's going to be game. And the swing point above it is into that 107, you know. It's been relentless, though. There's no doubt about that. We take a look at, let's go over to the oil market and take a look at oil. So, CLA. Oil contract out here. You had a high of 93 today, a low of 90. You get 322,000 contracts. Well, I don't think this is done yet. It's gonna, it's a, it's a close call, but I don't think this is done yet. You know, you had high volume all the way up to, you know, almost 93. You know, you, you had light of volume yesterday, but you'll be a pulling back with light volume compared to what it's going into. That's how this is set up. Inside the uh, NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness, you got uh, Walgreens Boots is up five eighty, five and a half percent. Micron's up four and a half percent. Let me just look at Micron because I want to. I think this is just a dead cat bounce. My Micron was the one that was down bad yesterday. Yeah, that's Micron's down with volume yesterday, monster. So that's just they, they caught people on the wrong side today. That's all that is. So you got uh, aluminum's up four percent. Z scale is up three. Taken away from it, uh, Sirius satellite is off three point seven. You got. Uh, Oh, bank. Oh, Baker Hughes. Baker Hughes off three percent. Let's look at Baker Hughes, because it'd be kind of interesting if they start smoking these oil stocks. That's going to be a heads up. Yeah, that's down with late volume though. Stay right there, folks. Uh, we're coming right back. And uh, bottom line, folks. Okay, we got our man, Mr. Peter Bruno. Peter is going to be doing a show on TFNN. Uh, it's going to be Wall Street Money Hour, and Peter has been in this business a long time. He was actually on the same station I was on for like 20 years in the West Coast. Peter and I are coming right back, folks. Stay right there. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome, folks. So we have the Dow Industrials right now trading down 130. NASDAQ is uh, up 34. S&P is down uh, 6.5. And, and I want to welcome our man, Mr. Peter Bruno, to uh, TFNN. Uh, Peter is going to be doing the uh, two to three hour at TFNN. Uh, Peter and myself were on the uh, same station over in West Palm Beach for about uh, 20 years. Peter Bruno, welcome to TFNN. How are you yes, doing? Thank you very much, Tom. Thanks for uh, having me. Oh. And uh, I'm very excited about doing the program uh, come Monday uh, between two and three. I, and I, uh, uh, it's, 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 I don't know if I'm going to be sleeping this weekend. <laughs> well, you, you are too funny. Say so. Hey, let, let, let me let me ask you something. I, I know you know, folks. See, you know, the, it's it's really intriguing what has happened in radio in general. Okay, so Peter and I have been doing radio for a long period of time. And there used to be a lot of business stations. And now there's no business stations. It's pretty amazing. Right. And the business station that we were on in West Palm was one of the best ones in the country. You know, so isn't it intriguing, Peter, how the whole deal just came down? I mean, and then, you know, I mean, you know, drive time in your car was it was a great deal. But guess what? You know, as soon as the streaming kept getting bigger and bigger, it's a whole different world, you know? That's right. It's totally amazing. And those stations are no longer in existence Right. So, uh, None of them are. I know. Yeah. So tell us, you know, uh, what do you, you know, the name of your show is the Wall Street Money Hour. And what are you going to be talking about? Okay, well, let me I'm just preface this by saying that uh, viewers to this uh, Wall Street Money Hour will be seeing something that is different from anything else that they've ever seen in uh, financial broadcasting or, or uh, analysis. Okay, something I created some 50 years ago. Yeah. And Tom, the way it was created, and sometimes a simple, a simple idea uh, becomes a giant of an idea. Uh, when I was out in New York in a, as a teenager, there used to be a weatherman, a meteorologist on uh, NBC. Uh, this, this guy was unique because he had a handlebar mustache. Okay. And he would say at nighttime, tomorrow's going to be a sunny day, 90 degree temperature. And I would be there with my towel, ready to go to the beach, and I open the front door, and it'd be thunderstorms. Oh my God! I said, I "How can these people be so wrong?" You yeah. Know? And so I said to myself, "You know, if I was able to take the Dow Jones Industrial Average, the history of 100 years, and put it into a a cyclic format, 
I would be able to do the same thing these meteorologists do by identifying directional movement of the stock market, the way these meteorologists look at charts and look at uh, uh, hot fronts and cold fronts and rain and so on and so forth. Sure. And of course, throughout the years with technology, uh, we've gotten better and better and better. You know, I'm, I'm in a car with my wife and she's looking at her iPhone and she says, you know, we better get home because it's going to rain in 10 minutes. Right. Okay. And no sooner do we, <laughs> do we get home, the thunderstorm is starts raining. It, it, that, so, that, you know, that, there's no doubt that it, what Peter just said there, that I love that aspect of it. Cause even, you know, we're out boating, it's really dangerous when the squall comes up. So you, you, you can you know, the weather is 10, well, a hundred times better than it used to be. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. And these meteorologists improved it so much yeah. that they were able to tell you in 10 minutes what's going to happen. Well, throughout the years with technology, I've been able to identify these chart patterns of, I call it cycle analysis, yes. where I was able to identify the directional movement of the stock market and anything that trades, basically, of whether it's going to be in an up, up channel or it's going to be in a down channel yes. or direction up or direction down. And what I've, I've been able to do is create these cycles to time them from a long-term cycle, which are yearly cycles, to the very, very short-term trading cycles that you can scout the market or trade during the day and so on. So, yeah, ideally, the first thing that you have to look at if you're looking at a an indice or, or a stock is determine whether the, the, the stock is in a long-term up cycle or a long-term down cycle. Now, even if a stock is in a long-term up cycle, it doesn't mean it's not going to correct uh, to go down, sure. even though it's within a long-term up cycle. And the same thing with a stock or an indice in a long-term down cycle doesn't mean it can't rally. So the way I try to explain it is in a long-term cycle, we go three steps up and two steps down, three steps up two steps down nice. in a long-term cycle. Yeah. Uh, so you just have to wait, watch out for the, for the two steps down. Yes. But in a down cycle, it's three steps down and then two steps up and then three steps down. So right now, I believe the overall investment markets are in a down cycle. Yeah. And what we saw this morning was a, was a rally within a down cycle. So it was a step up within an overall down cycle for uh, you know the major investment markets. Yes, so that's how that's how we do it. And on a radio and, and, and TV program, we'll be uh, handling questions by your, your viewers, and we'll be telling them exactly what the long-term cycle is telling us, what the short-term cycle is telling us, and how to trade whatever they're interested in trading uh, to be able to be on the right side of the market and make money. Sure. And Peter, how did you end up getting into the radio business in general, the financial radio business? Well, the, 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 I, 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 I was listening to a radio program. I had a training, I had a, I was training director of a brokerage firm, yeah. a low Brosen company, probably no one ever heard of it, but they became Smith Barney and taken over by Lehman and so on. Right. And, uh, uh, listening to the radio program, people would ask this financial talk show host, uh, what is it about the stock market? Every every time I buy a stock, the stock goes down. Right. Every time I sell a stock, the stock goes up. Yeah. Uh, is the market being manipulated? And the radio host told them to read the Wall Street Journal or, or some textbook. And I said, you know, I have this training school, and if I would be able to offer... Uh, investment seminars to the general public and yes. tell them how the markets work, how to place orders, how to do anything. I would do an eight-hour seminar on uh, on Saturdays. Wow! And that uh, and they were very very successful uh, for that. And because of that uh, success of the seminars that I was doing, uh, we decided to uh, write an investment newsletter. Uh, the Wall Street Money Letter, which is yes. the Wall Street Money Letter that we, we have on TFNN. Yes. And uh, and uh, uh, and back then there was no internet, Tom. Right. So therefore, you know, we would send out the newsletter, take one day to write it, another day to print it, another yeah. day to send it out. People would say, Peter, 
by the time I got your newsletter, the stock is up two points. What do I do? Do I buy it or do I wait for for it to come come back down? And I said, can't you just buy it for me when you uh, when you get the buy signal? So because at that point, if you were a newsletter publisher, you had to be licensed with the SEC, we easily converted ourselves to an investment advisory firm. So therefore, you know, we would we would be able to buy and sell for the clients uh, based on the management fee. That they just, Pete, Peter, just stay with us one second. We get a quick sure. break, and we're going to bring you right back. Okay, uh, great, thanks. Peter Bruno, Tom O'Brien, we appreciate your growl on a prowl on us out here, folks. We have the Dow Industrials right now down 181. NASDAQ is up uh, 17. S&Ps are down 14. Peter and I are coming right back, folks. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Peter, Bruno, Peter, Peter Bruno, Tom O'Brien. Uh, we appreciate your growl little problem with us out here. Peter, folks, is going to be uh, starting uh, with us this Monday, okay? Uh, 2 to 3 Eastern Standard Time. It's going to be the Wall Street Money Hour with our man, Mr. Peter Bruno. We're just uh, talking with Peter right now. And, yeah, Peter, you know, it's pretty amazing how I, I remember that specifically, you know, if you were, actually were a newsletter writer, uh, you know, the SEC – Thought you had to be registered and until you didn't have to be when someone challenged it, I guess. Must have been a long time ago. It must have been like 1980 or something. Who knows? But. That's right, 19, 1981, exactly. Is that so what it was? Okay, right. Question, 
white radio, and it comes to a point where if you're providing uh, uh, forecast and an analysis in the market for uh, by way of a newsletter, yes, uh, people and you're advertising the newsletter. People want to know, uh, you know, what what the real deal is. Right. Although I never had any aspirations to become a a radio host, I felt that I had to be on the air in order to let people understand what I was doing, what I created, and how well they can make money uh, following my advice. So that's how, why I started to do a radio program. I love it. And as you know, yeah. Peter, you know, so folks, the way that the radio worked, right, it was just always pay to play, which some people realized and some other people didn't. It was always expensive to be on the radio. So Peter, how I got on, right, it was the same thing. I had a, I had a guy come into my office, right, and turn around and trying to sell me a commercial, right, on one of the stations in Boston. Yeah. And I said, well, listen, you know, uh, so the cost of a, you know, commercial, and I says, well, you know, I hear these guys on the radio, what's the cost for the whole hour? And folks, the, the cost for the commercial was like, at that point, I think it was like $30 a commercial. Now, we're going back that far, and the cost for the whole hour was only like $100. I says, hold it, man, wow. that, does, that doesn't even make any sense. I, we had Peter wow. saying, wow, because we were paying five and $600 an hour when we finished, yeah. exactly, yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. And yeah. so it's amazing, isn't it, how that whole thing, you know, shook down. I mean, there's, there's no doubt, you know, so. Of course, the key point also is that uh, if they were paying you to do the radio program, you would have to have advertisers. Right. And you're putting your 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 reputation behind advertising some company or some service that you may not believe in and your radio listeners are believing that you're endorsing them yeah and therefore they can get in trouble you know tom i have a question you i told you how a little idea of psychoanalysis and yes. the meteorologists created this whole uh, industry and 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 service that i provide uh, my question has always been, how did you come up with the idea of CFNN? What happened is that the the guy came into my office for a you know a radio um, ad. I started doing the hour, but I I felt that I was one of when when Broadcast.com went public. I was already streaming, and it's so weird, man, that I was actually in their prospectus and because I thought the whole world was going streaming a lot you know before people did that's amazing and, sure did. Yeah. and then what happened is that I says okay the way to do this is if it's going to be streaming you know little by little I start picking people up and say well hey man this is a kind of a nice way to go do you know what I'm saying if we can build out a network you know and each one of them can have their own show and you know we were really lucky in the context of uh, even the pandemic because everyone I had set everyone up at the beginning folks would, would end up happening when we were setting studios up it was a lot more expensive because you needed as Peter and I both know we needed all these boxes and all this equipment you know you know we had a radio station up in Nashua and the radio station this was so sick folks Tom was running the radio station up in Nashua and the radio station up in Nashua so picture this one of the rooms was almost as big as half of my half of one of the offices we have right now and now just so you can understand that so, so let's let's picture that just the equipment in there was like 400 square feet and now that's 400 square feet is down to like one little box i mean wow. that, that's how dramatic it got so it, it was just step by step and then i, I says yeah this is this is pretty cool how this can work out so that's how it was and all of these hosts which is really wild i didn't know any of them before the fact she and, was. you know, I, I just meet some people and I thought they really, you know, you know, we know no one has a crystal ball and all I wanted people to do is to do their best. And that, that's kind of, you know, how this whole thing came down. Do you know what I mean? So it's, it's yeah, it's pretty cool. And we appreciate this, you coming this idea on. Is like a, uh, like a Steve Jobs idea. Yeah. And I well, mean, you created something that is so unique and so unusual uh, that there's nothing like it. And it's, it's, tremendous for the uh, listeners and the viewers. Yeah, and we have a huge amount of tigers and tigresses, and they help each other, you know. And folks, if you've never been in the tiger's den, it's only a dollar. Go in the tiger's den because you have people, you know, 
tigers and tigresses helping each other every day and that's almost like that that's alive like 14 hours a day and it's a dollar the only reason we charge a dollar is that what ends up happening is that we you know can't have someone you know in there that scamming or bots or anything like this okay um so it's it's a it's a great family and we know it's happened over the years of course um you know first what happened which is great you know because i miss the aspect of drive radio folks was huge i mean you know there's, there's no doubt about that when you have people trapped in traffic man it was huge you know it's 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 harder to get clients now than it was then i can tell you that that's different ball games you know what i mean and sometimes i i, I you know jacob helps us beyond belief and i say to him i can't believe you know we look at other sites and they claim this is what ends up happening folks they claim they have so many listeners, but we know they don't because we know the bots are like, and there's a huge scandal going on right now with Nielsen actually, with, and that's what you're seeing with uh, this podcasting deal um, about the amount. People can say that they get millions when they might have 1,500 people. I mean, it, it, so there's, there's a, anyway, that, that's a whole nother story, but it does affect us, you know, on a continual basis, so. Well, well, listen, Peter, you know, we really appreciate you uh, giving um, us, uh, you know, your time because, folks, this is always a huge commitment, man. When you're in the same place every day, you know, it's not easy. It's not. It, we love it. We all love it. I'm not saying that. But guess what? Peter and I know, you know, being in the same place every single day, you can't be late. There's no such thing as being late. Right, Peter? <laughs> That's right. right. You know, I used to tell people in my training class that, starting exactly at 9.30, that at 9.30, the New York Stock Exchange bell rings. Yes. Whether you're there or not. Right. Okay. Right. And, uh, but I, I have to tell you, Tom, that your radio listeners and viewers to uh, TFNN are going to uh, really learn an awful lot and really have something that is uniquely different from anything they've ever experienced anywhere because... In the, in the 50 years I've been doing this, going to bookstores or listening to other people, no, no one has anything like what I created over the years. And I think we're going to make a lot of money for a lot of people. Well, that's a beautiful thing. Well, listen, Peter, you have a great weekend, a safe weekend, and we look for, you know, the inaugural program of uh, your man, uh, Peter Bruno, uh, the Wall Street Money Hour. Thanks, Peter. Thank you so much, Tom. Have Appreciate a great one. Have a safe one. You too. Okay, Bye. folks, stay right there. We'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 190. Nasdaq's up 23. S&Ps are down 14. Now, New York Fed. So the New York Fed, folks, uh, has always been the biggest Fed because the bottom line is that they are always a voting member, Okay. So John Williams comes out today suggesting that the U.S. Central Bank may be done raising rates, though, he said, policymakers could keep them high for some time to bring inflation down to the central bank's 2% goal. This is the kicker here on the whole deal. How long are they going to be up at these levels, okay? My current assessment is that we are at or near the peak level of the target range for the federal funds rate, Williams said Friday as and remarks prepared for an event in Long Island. I expect that we will need to maintain restrictive stance on monetary policy for some time. The New York Fed's chief visit to the Long Island area was canceled due to an urgent family matter, I see, but its comments were still published. Williams' remarks represent an explicit acknowledgement by the senior Fed official that the central bank may have already wrapped up the most aggressive tightening campaign in four decades. So, what you have is this, folks, okay, is that the, you're at a tipping point, meaning, and what the tipping point is, it's not so much as the aspect of, yeah, you know, let's go, let's go take a look at this. So we take a look at uh, the Fed first. Wow. Okay, so we pull this up, and what you're going to see here is that right now the Fed fund rate, okay, is... 5.25 to 5.50. That's where we're at. Now, if you remember, this is what's really wild. I mean, they knew, Powell knew right where he wanted to get it to, because if you go back to one of his first speeches, which is a year and a half ago, March, you know, March of a year and a half ago, he was looking for five and a half. Well, they got five and a half. Now, the real kicker is how long does this go out? Because I would, I would say that right now, you know, this just started. And in fact, if this is where we're going to breeze along for a while, it's going to be pretty intense. Now, that being said, when you actually do go back before the Alan Greenspan put, this is how it normally worked. <laughs> you know, so it, we're going back a long period of time, but depending on, you know, where you are in the cycle of age, that was a normal deal. Now, the problem comes here. The problem comes that the amount of leverage that is in the markets at rates that are much smaller versus where we are today versus how long these go out. Because the Fed absolutely knows that as these rates stay the same, just like this, there will be huge amounts of defaults. Because it's going to, the, the defaults are going to come in the aspect of equities, of assets that will not be able to, well, what ended up happening is that they're on, you know, if you remember the, the housing crisis, folks, the housing crisis came down to liar loans and they came down to the aspect of uh, variable mortgages. And if you, if you saw that uh, the big shot, 
the variable mortgages, and those guys took a lot of heat before they made a lot of money, but it came down to the point of when the variable mortgages were going to start turning over, and they were going to start turning over in 2007, 2008. If you, if you saw the big shot, you know, he's screaming, like, I'm telling you, man, this thing is going to turn right now, and it's going to turn, turn, and they're not going to be able to pay it. Sure enough, that's exactly what happened. Well, what's happening, not just in the real estate market, well, it's, it's the commercial real estate market that has had been happening for a good year. And they're keeping that really kind of quiet as the amount of, I mean, you're talking about Blackstone, you're talking about um, uh, Star, what is this? You're talking about big companies, man, that have already given back the keys to these huge office buildings because of the fact that they had loans that are out there that, you know, were three, three and a quarter percent that they can't refinance, period. Okay, because what ends up happening is that the leverage was so high and the amount of folks that have left the office buildings is dramatic. So their rents are done. Okay. So, so the next step goes like this. The next step that we're going to start seeing is the, the zombie companies, okay, inside the equity markets that have also had notes out there that they're going to have to refinance. And what always blew my mind, man, was that, you know, this is, a, this is an example, but this is, you know, not a great example because Pets.com is already, like, down in a big way. But Pet, a Pet Med Express, yeah, Pet Med Express, that's what they call themselves now. Well, when you look at this, well, watch this for a second. So if we bring this up, what you're going to see is that, you know, you had a high out here of like a 57, you're down to 10 bucks. And we take a look at, you know, oh, this is Pet Med Express. I, 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 you know, let's we'll look at this anyway. It's probably the same thing. Okay, so you did, yeah, you did 283 million five years ago. This year you're going to do 256 million. Now this year you want to do 308. Last year they did 256. So I don't know how they're going to go from 256 to 358. But the bottom line is that there's companies like this that have taken loans out. Now check this out. This gets really bizarre that have taken loans out, and those loans, they're paying like 10 to 12%. They were paying 10 to 12% two and a half years ago. So I can't even come, come uh, who knows what they're going to be trying to basically pay. You know, because a lot of these takeovers and these bridge, lo bridge loans, I used to watch them come across the Bloomberg and I'd say, how can you pay, you know, 12% for something? Well, you better make sure that Whatever you're buying is totally undervalued, and you can sell something out of that company in order to pay down that debt. Because 12%, folks, is such a monster number on a continual basis, you know, month by month. I mean, you know, there's not a lot of businesses that uh, can pay that kind of money. So anyway, the longer that we stay at these rates, the more that you're going to see that fall. Now, watch what happens here. So first you have the commercial real estate. It, it just means that everything gets softer. That's what it really comes down to. That, you know, that it, it doesn't mean, we're not in a 2007, 2008. I'm not saying that at all, not even close. What does happen is that we're going back to a normal. And what I mean by a normal is that if you remember when you would go out and try to get a job, you know, you try to get a job, okay? Jobs weren't everywhere. You, you try to get a job, you know, bottom line, we're going back to that deal. That's, that's where we're going. And so there's going to be, you know, there's going to be a lot of hurt and a, probably a good generation, maybe two generations. It's really just, yeah, it's maybe two generations because they haven't seen that, that you got to get a job. Well, jobs, you know, last, what, year and a half, two years, you know, you could get a job, you could quit five times a day and get five more jobs. Well, that's good. That's, that's gone. And what my take is that this whole thing is reverting back to you know the deals of the 80s and 90s and the rates themselves that yeah i think the rate you know i think we'll get down to about five five and a half percent and the mortgages but i don't think that's going to happen for like another year year and a half you know i think this is going to be you know a leveling off here stay right there folks we're coming right back we have the dow the dow's down 118 nasdaq's up 45 sp's off four we'll come right back
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Let's take a look at Silva here. Yeah, this is about as intense as you can get, man, the Silva market, man. This Silva market is an unreal. I mean, look at this. Silva went from 2380 to 22.32. So once this dollar turned, man, this silver came in. Now let's do, I'm gonna do a generic chart on silver and take a look at this. That's quite a move, man. Holy cow. Okay, let's see what we got. I see, okay. So, you know, on a longer term basis, it hasn't done anything. You know, it just it went down to the bottom of the range. The bottom of the range here is the 22.14. That's how this has been. We're still going same consolidation. That's the bottom line. So, and in fact, if you take this and we look at this on a monthly thus far, oh, I can't do it that way, but on the generic, I can't. What you're actually going to have is a lost engulfing. Yeah, there it is. I got it. Okay, so even on a weekly. On a weekly, this is a lost engulfing. So the way a lost engulfing works now is this. You have to have a higher high next week. Um, not a higher high, just higher than the bottom. But you can see this. This is engulfing. Well, it's engulfing three weeks right now. You start at the high, you come down to the low. We'll see where it shakes out. It's going to be about this dollar, man. That's the real bottom line, you know. And it looks thus far. Let's see if we where we're at with this dollar. So we're at 106, 188. That's 100 ticks off, you know, that'll be a failure on price. 
you know, I mean, it kills me we don't get volume. Well, actually, let me go look at that UUP for a second because the UUP, yeah, so that rejected lower price and had a little bit of volume on it. You had no, yeah, I wish we had volume on that. Makes it a lot easier. Always remember, folks, to bank a client, hot out the book, and run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health happens in prosperity. Have a great weekend, folks. Have a safe weekend. Come back and visit Tommy uh, Monday morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock. Don't forget about uh, our new show, Wall Street uh, Money Owl, with our man, Mr. Peter Bruno. He's going to be up uh, 2 to 3. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one.